Okay guys, I'm going to show you exactly where Bitcoin is going. I'm going to give you some price targets into this video and also I'm working on a first person shooter uh, Bitcoin game. I'm going to show you that as well at the end of this video. So uh, this was a video I put out on Christmas. This was on December 25th. Every uh, video I uh, reference, I'll have a link pop up and the video will be pinned in the first comment in the description. Listen to what I said here. So if we take a trend line and we go from the head to the neckline, right? And we break this, you pull this down, guys, that is one hell of a drop. That takes you all the way down to, what, 20, 22,795? So again, I'm just making you aware, it is very possible. We need to watch uh, 51,000. If, if that holds and we start heading down, guys, it is very possible this is forming a huge bearish head and shoulders pattern, and that's one hell of a drop. If we push up, you still have the 21-week moving average at 52,300, and then you still have this resistance right here, around 53,200. So again, just, just want to make you aware, it is very possible, you know, everybody's getting bullish, they see this pump, but I think it's just, it's just a bull trap before we potentially come down much lower. And notice what I said, a bull trap, a bull trap before dropping, all right? So this is the last video I put up. This was uh, yesterday. And I was saying that we could possibly get a pump for uh, around $3,000, December 27th. I'm going to play a clip of this from the top to the bottom. So that would be from this point down to where we made contact at the bottom. If we pull that up, guys, that takes us right to this resistance level right here, which is, make this bigger so you can see it, right at 53000 and I have a lot of charts on that as the next target. So I'm not saying we have to go that high. I just want to show you if we do push up where you likely would want to put it in your short. So two things to take away from this. Well, actually three. We have a bullish pattern. If we push up, a possible target to hit was, was 53,000. I said we do not have to go that high. And I said if we do go that high, that is a point you put in a short. That's it. If we got that high, that is where you would short. Does not mean we have to go that high. I said we could push up. Yeah, we didn't make it to 53,000. That's correct. You should read some of these comments. Uh, this guy here, uh, please let us know when you are bearish so we know it's time to go long. Uh, we did not top out at 50, 53K. Uh, so your prediction is always wrong. It's not dumping. Uh, it's now dumping, not pumping. You should change your career. Uh, things getting out of hand. The market is doing the opposite of what you say. Actually, that's incorrect, you idiot. If if the market does the opposite of what I say, then I could control the markets, apparently. Uh, need to do the opposite of what you say because because that's what happens. Uh, yes, exactly. Pump 3K, but <laughs> another side. And it's, uh, it's down again. <laughs> A bull trap call. I guess that's what you meant. You're damn straight. That's exactly what I've been calling. I will delete your channel forever. You missed... You misled so many people so many times. Genius. His statement is both bullish and bearish, providing every outcome. No matter what happens, he can go from a clip and tell his followers, whatever. So these guys have lost money, and they're pissed off, and they want to vent, and I get it. But you know what? All of you idiots did not pay attention. You did not take your profit when you should have. You're at a loss, and you're not going to make your money back. We're entering a bear market. You're shit out of luck. So again, I made it very clear, if we push up, that's where you short. And in that same video, if we came down, I, sh I showed you what to watch. Here's, here, let me play this for you. Uh, the bottom of this uh, wedge is down here at around 48,862. So, and if we came down and gave you an exact target to hit, and you know what, look what happened. And they said, uh, do the opposite. So if they did the opposite, when I made that video, we were at 50,500. We pushed all the way up to 52,162. So even if we didn't make it to 53K, I mean, we got close, 52,162. I told you it was a bull trap. Be careful. We still pushed up around 3.20%. Uh, so it was a bullish call. We did push up. I told you it's a bull trap, guys. We're entering a bear market. And where did I say we'd come down to? 48,600? Right there, we hit it and we pushed up. So again, I'll come back and I'll give you price targets. I'm just, just covering some of the stuff because it seems, I, I don't know if Bitcoin makes people stupid or stupid people flock to Bitcoin, but there's a lot of stupid people out there. Uh, listen to this video, this, <laughs> this was um, December 27th. This is the same video, the last video I put out. Listen to what I said, guys. Obviously, if we break below 50,066, you know, we're watching to see if we get a break. Because this, this uh, red trend line is our support now. So if we come straight down and you break 50,272, obviously we have much more downside. And the next downside target down here 
is around 48,400. So, and I told you, as soon as we break this red trend line, we're coming down much lower. And that was our support, we pushed up, and that's why I have this, this, this yellow arrow, I mentioned this in a previous video, this is our resistance. We came up and hit that, got rejected, as soon as you broke this red line, we came down. You can see that on this chart right here. At the point when I made the video, you can see right here, this, this shows where we were at, around 50,600. We pushed up to, let me give you a price label here. We pushed up to right here, which was, the, I mentioned that in the previous video, the 20-week moving average, and we got rejected. I gave you three targets to watch. If, if we pushed above the 21-week, you know, your next target was around 53K. We didn't make it above this point. We got rejected at this trend line, and I said, as soon as we break this, this red line right here, we're coming down. And guys, this is on the four-hour. I'll show you the daily, but the, the, the daily MACD and RSI looks pretty bearish as well. Uh, this is the um, C1 chart. You can see we came down. As I mentioned in this previous videos, I gave you a support level. This has been a lot of support and resistance. If we came down, this would be support. It's still support. So again, I'll give you support and resistance levels to pay attention to. And guys, I've been calling for this, this bearish head and shoulders back since December 15th. Uh, listen to what I said. You're potentially in a huge head and shoulders pattern that could potentially be playing out. And if we break down, guys, your target is all the way down here. We got the 300 weekly moving average right here. So I go in, I give you, I give you possible targets. So that's what I do, guys. I give you targets to the upside to watch, targets to the downside. Um, but I, I, apparently people just, they don't take the time to watch the videos or they're just so butthurt. These snowflakes just want to lash out because they're at a loss. And you know what? If you stay in, you're going to be at more of a loss. Again, we everybody that followed me got out at 69000 I took my profit there. I'm happy with it. I swing trade a little, you know, upside, downside. But again, I, I get it. These, these people lost money and they're lashing out. And so, guys, like I said, this is on the daily right here. Look, <laughs> I told you. I, I even made a poll, guys. I said, look, your, your potential top is right here around 51000 Yeah, we pushed up to, you know, 52300 something. But, guys, look. This, this was a lot of support. This is still our resistance. I told you it was likely this is the top of our right shoulder. And guys, we are headed down to at least 47,000. And if that breaks, we're coming down much lower. And I'll show you this one more time for the stupid people that can't comprehend. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. As soon as this breaks, okay, how far do we come down if that breaks? Well, let me show you. Uh, you do a trend line from the top of the head to the neck. Where does that bring you down to? That brings you all the way down to 21,720. And then the trolls say, but I thought you said we're going to 14,000. Well, you know what? If we come down at this point and we push up and we get rejected, I do think that is possible. That is still a target. We have bottomed on the 300 weekly, uh, the, the 200 weekly moving average uh, at least twice in a bear market. And once we hit it in our last bear market. So that is a target, whether you like it or not. This would be our first target. Obviously, you know, you can't go straight down. We, we come down, we'll push up, you get rejected here, you come back down. This is a target. I do think we're ultimately headed to around 14,000, possibly lower. They're just targets to pay attention to. If we break, you know, down here around uh, 22,150, well, isn't it nice to have a damn target to know where to potentially catch your next, next bounce? That is the point of these charts. If you break this point, where's your next point to catch a bounce? Right friggin' here. Again, I, I show you points to watch. But I've been calling for that we're entering a bear market. We're in a huge head and shoulders. I was talking about this before anybody else. I'm telling you, we are going down much lower. So if you're in right now and you're at a loss, if you stay in, you're going to be at more of a loss. I'm not telling you to sell. You should have got out when I said to get out at, at um, 69000 so, and this is another chart, guys. This is just showing you, look, you can see how overextended we are on the monthly. And remember, pretty soon, New Year's is coming up. So we're going to have not only a new daily candle, a new weekly candle, a new monthly candle. We're going to have a new yearly candle. But guys, it's going, I mean, look at this. Look how overextended we are on the, um, overbought we are on the RSI. Look, look at this coming down right here, the, the bars on the MACD. And I've showed you this before. If, if you look, every time we, we enter a bear market, we drop, we always drop at least 80%. Let me measure this for you. 80%. We dropped 80%. Look at that, 85%. Right here, we dropped 82%. So why the hell do you not think we can drop another 85 or 
And, and again, I, I've showed you this before. Right here, when we, when we peak, we drop and we flatline till we have our next crash right here. Same thing in 2017, right? We come down. We, we, we come down, we bottom. We, we have flatline and then we have another drop. You know, we've been going sideways here. I'm telling you, came down, flatline. We're about to have one hell of a candle coming down. And that is when we break down from that head and shoulders. So I'm going to give you uh, your support and just levels to pay attention to. Um, so I am working on a game, guys. So uh, this is going to be a first-person shooter game. And um, my idea for this, let me hit play on this. This is the actual game engine I'm creating it in. <clears throat> but what I was going to do is this game is going to be free for everybody in um, Discord to get access to. But inside the game, you can actually keep track of... Uh, uh, big, the price of Bitcoin, and you can select different altcoins and see the price while you're in the game. So you can, everybody in Discord is going to get a, a copy of this, so we can all play and uh, you know kill each other while we're keeping track of the prices of Bitcoin. But it's pretty cool. Uh, it takes a lot, a lot of time to create these assets and bring them in the game. But I was thinking, what I'm going to do is, there's going to be uh, two spawn points. So there's going to be one side of the street where you spawn. And then there's going to be a building um, in the middle, and in that building it's going to have uh, servers and it's like an office building. So the other team will spawn on the other side, and then what you'll do is is you try to get into the um, the building, get in there. It's like a capture the flag thing, but you'll actually capture the crypto. You'll steal it off of the servers or, or the the computers, probably a couple checkpoints, and then you um, once you do that, you come back and then you win the round. So that's what we're working on, but it does take a lot of time to bring these assets in. Just want to show you how this is coming out. We got to get the new um, character models in and the um, the guns or whatnot. But you can see it's coming along really nicely. We walk around, got the roads, got the sidewalks, and now I'm bringing in all the elements. So, But look forward to that. I'll keep you guys updated if this comes along. Uh, so let me give you some price targets, guys, pay attention to. Again, I feel bad for people who lost money, but I've tried to warn you guys to get the hell out. So again, I told you your support down here to buy was right here around 48,600. You can see we did push up. So look, your resistance to pay attention to is right right now is 50,090. Your support right down here is 48,320. Um, I have support levels below. The most important support level you need to pay attention to right now is on the um, C1 chart. Let me find that chart here. So again, just like I told you guys to buy back here, I said to buy her right here at 45,600. That that comment that guy said, I swear, I said to buy at 45,600. We all bought it and wrote it up. So again, just like this was strong support, that's why this 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 white line is so thick. If we come down the next point to catch a bounce, where I'll be buying is right here at 47,513. But do not be fooled. Rather, we push up or drop. We are in a, a large head and shoulders pattern, and we're coming down much lower. Uh, if we do, so your current support right now is 48,921, and your next resistance, strong resistance above, is right here, 50,156, too short. Again, even if you long 57,513, you might want to take your profit. You know, if we come up to 48,670, or potentially if you get up, you know, you get up around here, you want to take your profit around 50,000. But again, that's how I play it. You buy support, you sell resistance. So there's current support and resistance levels, guys, but just remember, we are in a huge head and shoulders playing out. Again, this is your left This is your left shoulder right here. This is your head. I told you guys, this is your right shoulder. As soon as you break this point, we're coming way the hell down. Uh, if you want to access these charts, guys, website to opticalcrypto.com. I do have stocks uh, for $49 a month to get access to Bitcoins, altcoins, precious metals, our Discord, and Twitter. And have tutorials teaching my method of charting to so create these charts for yourself. Uh, the website address will be pinned for us comment description. Guys, this is it to the next video. Trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.